Thanks for tuning in to The Trailblazers, where we profile millennial creators whose ventures use tech to drive social good. Let's get right to it. Now, most of us have visited a tourist attraction of some sort, right? And I bet a fair few of you have let your imagination drift off to visualize what that scene might have looked like going back in time. I know I did, but then again, I was really hyper as a kid. Still are, trust me. Uh, look, to me, guidebooks, some website links, and overexcited tour guides, they just don't do the trick. They seem dated. So it's no wonder you see teenagers walking around with their heads down, WhatsApping their buddies, rather than absorbing what's around them. So I suppose the question is, could we better connect both our generation and others to the past to get that authentic historical experience and revitalize historically rich sites? Now that's exactly where this episode's Trailblazer comes in. You're about to meet Yith Yitha from Time Looper. He's using virtual reality to create an immersive experience while you're at the tourist site to bring it to life in a way that you might not quite expect. In fact, he's going as far as calling it time travel. It is a fantastic location-based virtual reality app, which with the help of a Google viewer, you're transported in situ back to yesteryear. Oh God, once Danny is done being dramatic, we can actually meet the creator. Now my bet is that this is going to be a powerful tool that I think will excite even the most hard to please, bored 15 year old to move away from Snapchat and actually be present in where they are. Let's get to it. Hey, listen, thank you for doing this and being on the Trailblazers. Thank you very much for having me. Brilliant, we're very excited. So look, we've chatted before and it really comes across that you've got a very adventurous streak. Were you always creative and adventurous as a kid? I was traveling with my grandparents since I was very young and I'm always trying to visualize what that place used to look like and all the old peoples. I was always trying to imagine and dream all the time, but it was difficult and hard. It wasn't easy. And I was always thinking like, how can I make this experience better for myself? And about 10 years ago when I was applying to business school, this was my application essay. They asked me, why should we accept you? And I said, because I want to make this impact. When you make this impact, it's good for education, tourism economy, increasing funds for archaeological research. And I got in and, and I always felt like, okay, like people accepted me for this reason and I have to make it happen. And five months ago, I quit my job to build my dream. You talk us through what Time Looper is about and how it works with an actual example. Okay, Time Looper is a mobile application app, so you download it from the App Store or Google Play. Right. You can download the content from anywhere, but in order to see it for the first time, you have to visit the site where the event actually happened. It's like, let's say, you are in front of St. Paul's Cathedral, and did you know that that cathedral was is a new one? So it used to be a Gothic style, and it burned down during the Great Fire of London in 1666. So we, we take you with Time Looper to September 4th, 1666. So what you do is you hold your smartphone against the wheel or, or, or you can insert it. So it works both ways. And this is a cardboard and lenses. It's very inexpensive. And what you do is you look all around you, 360 degrees, and suddenly everything around you changes and you go back to 1666. So you see the old Gothic style cathedral standing in front of you, the medieval times houses around you, and the great fire. So people are fighting against the fire, they are using their local tools. So we give you the experience of going back in time. Now, what is the process of actually constructing Time Looper or a virtual reality platform involved technically? So, um, the first, of course, we have to do a lot of historic research in order to make that everything is accurate. And then, um, step one, we record the same place as of today in 360 degrees. And then in Green Studio, we record people with costumes, original costumes and makeup, or we can do it also on site, depending on the site. And then uh, we do 3D modeling, for example, old St. Paul's Cathedral, and we bring everything together in the computer environment. And, and we add visual effects and you have the 360 degree time traveling experience. I want to sit in on one of these sessions. Yeah, maybe you can play in one of the videos. Perhaps. We had some real insight there and I'm so inspired by you and what you're doing with Time Looper. So I'm going to keep a close eye on this. Now, I want to close by saying that you've defined yourself or described yourself as an entrepreneur whose drive and determination have been the main catalysts for overcoming challenge. It's a brilliant ethos. Thank you for being on The Trailblazer. Thank you very much for having me again. Thanks a lot. Right, so this is 10 questions with our Trailblazer, Yit. 
Gonna file them off. You ready? Yep. Sweet or savory? Sweet. The beach or the mountains? Mountains. <laughs> Wine or whiskey? Wine. Ooh. Vintage car or modern sports one? Vintage car. Nice. Night owl or early bird? Early bird. Okay. TV or radio? Radio. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Night in or evening out? Evening out. James Bond or Indiana Jones? Indiana Jones. Elephant or squirrel? <laughs> we had to put in a really silly one. <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> so before we take this out into the streets, can we have a look at the functionality? Yeah, see what okay. it's all about. So Time Looper is a smartphone app that it's in different cities. So let's go to London. In London, we have three locations. Mm -hmm. You have to, in order to see the content, watch the content, you have to go to site where the actual event has occurred. Mm -hmm. So let's look at Trafalgar Square, for example. During the World War II, London was bombarded, and we one of the bombs dropped to Trafalgar Square on September 23rd, 1940. Mm -hmm. And we take you to that night. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say play. Yep. If it's wet set, we click on yes, mm -hmm. and then uh, put the smartphone in the headset. Sure. Thank you. And now I'm getting, so if I was standing in that location now, obviously as you can see in the screen behind me, I'd be standing that that very spot in Trafalgar Square where it took place. So. Okay, and there we go, 1940. It's brilliant that the description comes up and it, it you know, you know exactly where you're transported to. Oh wow, okay, that's happening. So the good thing is, so you, you can go all the way around, up, down, left, right, and see the whole way around you. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So it's like time traveling to 1940. So there, so something's freaking them out, and they're looking up this way, and that's why. So we've got loads of bombers coming in, and obviously I presume one of these guys was dropping the bomb, but there it is. Whoa. I mean, that's absolutely incredible. I mean, in terms of the people that are in Trafalgar Square now, I mean, that they have no idea that they're standing on that bomb site. So should we go and test it? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, look, there's a plane on fire. <laughs> and an ambulance as well. Oh, that's really cool. That's good, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, bomb right there. Oh, I see puffs of smoke from uh, bombs, I suspect. I see the explosion and the... Wow. Then it's all clear like today. Wow. Yeah. Do you think for people that are kind of, especially the millennial generation, they, they use a lot of technology these days, do you think that something like this will kind of rejuvenate interest in like tourism science? I think definitely because it's like, it gives you a taste of what it was like actually there. Because you can look at photos and you can go to the museums, but you know, you don't really feel connected. Whereas there, it's kind of scary. So as you've seen guys, people are absolutely loving the Time Looper app. I love it too, and let's hope that we're going to see it in more sites across the world pretty soon. So Yid is clearly a very passionate, fired up trailblazer who wants to use virtual reality for social impact, to educate and to excite. Now VR as a field gets Danny and I really revved up because it's got tremendous potential applications. It's being used, for instance, to help those with mental health conditions and to train people professionally. There is a huge list there beyond just gaming. Exactly. And as a millennial, Yit clearly had a vision of the future and the past. And like so many in his generation, has taken that vision and made it ours. Thanks for watching. Sound? Okay. Thank you. Yes, please film that. How are you? Yep. These of headsets that monitor two monitors. Ah, uh, club that. Sorry. No worries. No worries.
That's all right, it's gone now. It's, it's gone now, it's fine. Forward and engaging technology such as VR to actually drive social <laughs> you. Sorry. Phones off. That's a case of beer in Canada. You would owe us all a case yeah. of beer yeah. right now. It's, it's better if, yeah, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You want to centered on this one? Yeah.